Happy Friday. We're taking you to the zoo. Today we are going to take you out live to San Diego Zoo Safari Park. We're introducing you to a Cape porcupine. Yeah, and here's Laura. Uh, so these porcupines, you have a couple there behind you. They look almost fluffy, dare I say, but they're not at all, right? No, they're not fluffy, but those quills definitely make them look a lot larger than they are, even though they are the largest rodents in Africa. Wow, they're sharp, right? Those, those uh, quills? They are incredibly sharp, definitely something that a predator doesn't want to make contact with. Ooh. It is 100% a myth. They don't shoot their quills. A lot of people <laughs> think they do, but um, if a predator were to approach them, they will turn their backs to the predator and open up their skirt, which is what huh. their uh, quills are called, and actually try to make contact with that predator because one sharp poke and that predator is going to say, never mind, I'll yeah. go find something okay. else. Okay, goodbye, eat. right? Wow, so they like scoot almost yeah. towards them to just fend them away. I see. They yeah, almost they can walk backwards or sideways. Okay, they almost in a weird way, I know they're rodents, but look like how peacocks' feathers come out all beautiful. These are really beautiful. Exactly, yeah, and this isn't even uh, their quills fully out. This is a relaxed porcupine. <laughs> they're just out here hanging out at the safari <laughs> park, and they're very relaxed. They're getting some treats. They're very happy. If something were to startle them, their skirt would go straight up, and they'd be about, they'd look about double to three times their size. Wow. What are they, yeah, yeah, what are they eating? <laughs> So they're eating some little biscuits right now. As a rodent, <laughs> they do need to constantly chew on things. They have ever-growing incisors, which simply oh. means that their front teeth are constantly growing. So this is one of the things that we provide them here at the safari park. They also get bones to eat. They get uh, browse, like the branches in a tree to chew on. And those are things that they would find in the wild as well for dental care. So how many hours a day are they awake? And all, all those hours as they're awake, they're <laughs> chewing on something? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's a good question. No, they spend a lot of their time sleeping throughout the day. Um, we do tend to spy on them at night. Sometimes we have cameras on our animals and we can see what they're doing. So they do a little bit of chewing. These are uh, brother and sister. This is Fred and Quilma, African crested porcupines. They just turned a year old uh, last month, actually. So they still are very playful. So we see them playing together. They sleep together. Um, they're very good, as you can see, about sharing uh, food and nice. being next to each other while they're eating. So they have a lot of fun here. So cute. they sleep and then they chew on food all day and they play. I want a porcupine's <laughs> life. That sounds incredible. Um, right? Also, tell us also about the rattle. I did not know they can also make that rattling sound. Yeah, when you live in Africa and there's so many large predators, why not have a universal sound of danger and that mm. would be a rattling sound. So where they have, uh, where a tail would be, porcupines don't actually have a tail, but there are some rattle quills. They look slightly different from the rest of their quills. Um, it almost looks like a straw coming out, a bunch of straws together. And so when they shake them, it makes a rattling sound Ooh. that's very loud and typically would scare away a threat. Okay. Very interesting. Cape Porcupine. Laura, thank you so much for joining us. Reservations are no longer needed at the zoo. So if you're thinking about that's heading right. out, go ahead and do that. Great to see you. Yay.